the phone rings. It's Jim. It's not his real name. As I answer, I hear his voice crack. He tells me his best team member, his longest term employee, just quit. Jim's right in the middle of the biggest project he's ever bid in one. It's already behind schedule. This project is costing them more than they'll ever make from it. We business owners walk a tightrope every single day in our businesses as we pull out all the stops to take the best care of our clients and customers, as we do everything to take care of our team members. And yet we walk this tightrope while we carry these spinning plates. One misstep, one plate that falls out of alignment and it can all come crashing down. In that moment, my quest begins. My quest to discover how to transform life in cash-sucking small businesses into highly profitable, great places to work. Fast forward a few years, the phone rings. I look at the caller ID, it's my good friend, Mike Jones. As I answer the phone, I can hear the excitement in his voice. He tells me he's just finished an incredible book and it reminds him of conversations we've had about our businesses and how I help my clients in their businesses. He says, Sabrina, you really need to read this book. I order the book. I read it within a week. I immediately want to share it with all of my clients. I go online to look for a place to put in a bulk order, and I can't find anything. But I did find the author's personal email address. It was a little risky, but I thought, what the heck? I'll just reach out to him. He wrote back within minutes. I couldn't believe it. As we're emailing back and forth, he tells me he's starting a consulting group for strategists who want to share the strategies from this book with their clients, and maybe I'd be interested. He sends me to a landing page. It's very simple. There's just a few words there, and three of those words jump out at me. Four-week vacation. That's the ultimate. Because if a business owner can take a four-week vacation and the business can operate without them, it means they are no longer walking that tightrope, spinning all those plates. All of a sudden, I feel like this guy has been in my head. He knows exactly what I'm trying to accomplish for my clients. Fast forward a few months later, and I'm on retreat. There's four of us in the room. Mike Michalowicz, the author of The Pumpkin Plan, Donna Lyons, president of Prevendus Group, and my colleague, Rodrigo Ladaga. We've all flown into Denver and rented an Airbnb, and we're spending the weekend working on our businesses. It's my turn in the hot seat. Mike asked me, Sabrina, what do you want to work on in your business? I take a deep breath, and I work up the courage to say, I really want to write the book four-week vacation. Now Mike, you know, he's a very supportive guy. In that moment, he was supportive in a way that I didn't anticipate. He looks me square in the eye and asks, Sabrina, have you taken a four-week vacation? No. And then he says, you know, you have to take a four-week vacation before you can write that book. And as we realized I was not ready, to write that book just yet. We looked at what I did need to write before I could write the four-week vacation. You see, the reason they're stuck working in their business 60 to 80 hours a week, walking that tightrope with all those spinning plates, is because they can't find good help. I know I need to help them solve that problem before I can help them take a four-week vacation. And that's how I came to write my book, How to Hire the Best. Now, what I didn't realize at the time is that I was already pregnant with my youngest daughter while I was on that retreat. Fast forward about five months later. I am now five months pregnant and I am getting very stressed. You see, when my first daughter was born, I had just started my business. 
I don't ever recommend having your first child and starting your business at the same time. I remember sitting in a dark room at night with just the moonlight streaming in while I rock her to sleep and read the e-myth and see everything that I'm already doing wrong in my new business. I don't want that experience again with my second daughter. I want to be present and I want to savor every moment of this experience. So now I'm on my yoga mat. I'm doing yoga a lot because I'm very stressed and I'm trying to figure all this out. And I keep asking myself, Sabrina, what do you want? What do you really, really want? But that moment on my yoga mat, as I'm doing the sun pose, a question comes through my mind. Sabrina, if you have your very best employee come to you and tell you she's pregnant, what would you want to do for her? And I immediately knew my answer. I would want to give her a really long paid maternity leave. And of course, that's what I really wanted for myself. And that's what I did. I had four and a half months, if I was lucky, to put my business in order so I could take a nine week paid maternity leave. I did it. It didn't go perfectly, but leads were generated, sales were made, services were delivered, money was collected. Two entire business cycles happened without me working in the business. And I'm pretty sure I'm just like the shoemaker who has no shoes. I was so worried about everyone else's business and I just went right back in to being in the middle of the day-to-day -day of my business. Fast forward to just a few months ago. It's the end of the year and I love to do my strategic planning and goal setting for the new year right after Christmas. I'm trying to set my revenue goal. And for the first time ever, I really feel very uninspired about setting a revenue goal. I cannot feel a strong commitment to increasing my revenue even by 25%. And then I realize that represents me working harder in my business. And so I ask a better question. How can I go about increasing my revenue by 25% while I free up 25% of my time from the business. Now that got me excited. And then a better question came to mind. How can I set my business up so that I can take a four week vacation? Then I got to thinking about what would I like to do with a four week vacation. I wanna take four weeks off in December because I wanna just be mom at Christmas time. I wanna be enjoying my kids' school parties and all the festivities, decorating the tree, baking cookies, decorating them with really pretty icing and being relaxed and present in the moment with my kids as we do that. That's my four week vacation dream. I wonder what yours might be. So if you're ready to quit walking the tightrope, if you're ready to thrive in a highly profitable, great place to work, and then take a four week vacation, we'd love to assist you in doing just that. Join me for my breakthrough webinar, How to Make Your Time Worth $10,000 an Hour. Life-changing business transformations start here.